Hello, good morning. Them old cotton fields back home. That thought comes to my mind immediately when I sit back here and think about the subject I want to talk about this morning. Many of you, of course, especially from America, sorry guys, come out here with the expectation of finding that perfect, perfect lady. Of course, most of us that are here understand there's no such thing as perfect. And of course, the reason we know that is we've probably already found what we thought was perfect. And we've found that some, some of them, like everywhere in the world, can have a little bit of a learning experience before you really discover the true person you're going to spend or you would like to spend your time with. Here in especially Cebu region, Dumaguete, there's an abundance of young women claiming that they're looking for you. <laughs> really? Okay. Isn't it funny how when you make contact with them, they will probably, first of all, start off being very friendly, answer many of your questions. But sooner or later, they'll start sending you seductive photos of themselves to draw you into their net. And what is that net, you might ask? Surprisingly, do you have Gcash? First answer or first indica indication of what you're looking at. You're looking at a very sophisticated Filipina. It doesn't matter what kind of schooling she has. She will have that ability from a very young age. She's maybe learnt it from her sister, her elder sister, maybe even her younger one, cousins maybe. That if you chat to foreigners, it's likely they'll send you money. Really? Are we that stupid? Yes, I'm afraid some of us are. And some of us will get themselves into trouble doing it. Trouble, I say, well, once you start sending money, you really think it's going to stop? They're on a good wicket here. But, of course, not all women who are looking for a relationship, whether with a foreigner or a local, is actually after your money. Many are a bit more astute and decide that that's maybe, maybe not the best page to show at the start. They will show the loyalty, the religious side maybe. Maybe they'll be caring and doting upon you. But of course, like everything, like a honeymoon, it doesn't always last forever. I certainly would never change what I found here in the Philippines. I think it's a wonderful life. It's a great place to retire. But it is buyer beware, no matter where you are, whether you're in the city, whether you're in what they claim, <gasps> the provinces. Who said the provinces? The provinces is the country outside of the city. You can live 20k out of the city, but you're still in the province. All cities are in provinces anyway. The province of La Union, the province of Ilocos Norte, the province of, you know, you name it, it's all there. So, before you burst your bubble with your fantasies about life with your absolutely exquisite, beautiful, gorgeous Filipina, just remember there is a sell-by date. It's just how long it will be before she asks for a refund. I say that tongue-in-cheek because nothing necessarily lasts forever anywhere in the world and no more so than in the Philippines. They know their market 
They know exactly what they're doing. Do you really think they want to spend their whole life with a 70 plus, 60 plus, even a 50 plus person when they're young and youthful, beautiful bodies, exquisite skin, lovely black hair, deep, luscious eyes? Don't you think they want a Filipina for that? Sure, they want you to die quick enough so they can have the best start in life because after all once they have a home imagine all the filipino men who maybe have a good job but could never afford to have a home are rushing to her doorstep to replace you in the bed that's a reality now if you're happy with that if you want to be somebody's sugar daddy for a period of time and consider that life is as you planned it life is going to be wonderful, then sadly I think you many of you are going to be disappointed because the reality is you don't even need to be Filipina or a foreigner to experience it. Look at all the men around that haven't, why, haven't got wives. Hang on a second. Oi! Get inside! Go on! Oops. Now that's real life. <laughs> the little shih tzu was being a little shih tzu, trying to get under the railing on the upstairs veranda. And I was worried that he, Mr. Mischief, was going to fall. So he's gone back with his tail between his legs. But back to what I'm saying is that we can all have a dream, we can all imagine, but it's better to have some reality to our dream. Be prepared, be, be on the, the careful shelf, so to speak. Be aware that you do have a sell-by date. Not everybody will care for you and nurture you till you actually die. That takes a special kind of woman. Yes, they are here. And yes, you will find them. And some, some will go through a lot of the stages that we've talked about. But if you're determined and you have that connection between you and her, you will weather those storms. Who has gone through a marriage, a relationship, whatever you want to call it, and not had ups and downs and thought, whoa, this is the end and only to discover it, it has helped to bond you closer. It has helped to cement a lifelong relationship. It's not meant by doing this video to cast this doom and gloom upon everybody who plans to come here, but it's to try and make you realize that whilst there are the guys out there that brag about how many thousands of pesos they make every month, or should I say, they bring with them each month. You know, you get people who say they have a budget of 350,000 pesos a month. How stupid is that? Do they really think that? Well, actually, they probably do. They probably waste that much because they are stupid. They're knuckleheads. Knuckleheads. Why would you need that much money? Just ask your average Filipina in your neighborhood, how much their budget is every month. And you may well be surprised, 10, 15, maybe 20,000 for the whole family. And they're healthy, they're happy. They are uh, what one might call contented. But would you want to live like that? Why not? Why do you have to have T-bone steak every day for breakfast, noon and night time? Why can't you experiment with local foods, make dishes that have no recipe, but you know how to cook them? And you try them and you present them in a different way. Play, play with your food, make it look, make it taste. You can do that because you can buy every day fresh food here. 
fish, meat, poultry, and wonderful vegetables. Ones that you've never experienced in your life. The taste of bitter gourd has a completely different taste depending on how you cook it and what you put on it. There are things like, um, I think they call it like Hong Kong or Gong Kong or something like that. To me, I just call that weeds. <laughs> but it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It's in, you can make a soup, you can add it to your vegetable stir fry. You, everything here you can do. So guys, put the sex side apart. Use your head first. Sex, great. It's great to have it. And as long as you can do it, no problem. But there's other things you can do, as you well know, if you're older. And it's about being loving, caring, considerate. Always being considerate. And trying to push the envelope every day to experience something new. Forget about putting notches on your belt. The guys that come here and do that are deadheads. And you only have to look at a lot of the videos. And that's what they all comment on. It's ridiculous. And the, the young Filipino women, that's all they talk about. The size of your what's it? You know, how many times a day? Is it deep? Is it not? You know, who, who cares? But if it turns you on, maybe that's what you're doing. It's like soft porn. But guys, just get a real reality check. Don't kid yourself that everything will be honky-dory here. It may well fail many times over, but one hopes that if you have the stamina, the determination, the willingness to try again, you will succeed in the end. And if you don't, you would have had all these ones along the road and you would have died with a smile on your face. So you guys, plan that smile on your face and have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Come on, guys. You can subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. I don't care if you want to call yourself Jimmy Nuts or Dickhead, whatever. That's okay. As long as you keep your comments respectful. Don't forget to press the notification button. And we'll catch you later. Bye now.